Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Brian, you can also call me Alco. And <laughs> today I am going to be talking about how I lost my Crested Gecko Warlord. Um, so if you don't follow me on my pet Instagram yet or follow along in my community tab on YouTube, um, I would have posted this information there first. Now I'm kind of making a little video about it. So if you did want to go follow my pet Instagram, I will put the link below in my, the description so you can click it and follow me. And if any, <laughs> I guess, update information about my pets, um, you'll see that first. And this is the first time any of my animals have gone out and it kind of, it put me in a really stressful mood. Um, for one part, I was feeling really embarrassed and um, sad um, and a lot of guilt. And my biggest concern was, is my crested gecko gonna get eaten, get eaten by my cat or my dog? Um, so that was <laughs> making me really stressed as well because um, you don't want any of your pets that you love to die or get eaten. But anyways, I posted a video of me literally sitting on my reptile room floor in the dark. Okay, um, so it is nighttime in my reptile room and I am sitting on the floor. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. So I came home after a long day at work after dealing with the whole coronavirus and I'm working in a clinic that we are staying open um, because we are helping the people who are at risk and well not at risk they don't have coronavirus but people who have injured themselves that would need to come see us but anyways I had another long day at work where I had to work overtime come home uh, to feed Carlo because um, I gotta inject Carlos Cricket still with calcium every feeding, um, aside from the D3s. But I came home and I realized that Warlord's cage was open. Now, I have no idea if I accidentally just forgot to close it or didn't latch it properly, but the night before I was honestly in such a fog. <laughs> like worked overtime. I was like dealing with a whole bunch of stress at my job because I'm kind of in a higher position where I have to deal with other people <laughs> um, and employees as well to figure out what's going on, especially when things are so rapidly changing. So I literally came home, was super tired. And when I went to bed, I was literally like, I don't remember half the day, um, but yeah. So I came home today and I was getting Carlos crickets ready. I looked up at Warlord's cage and the door's open. Go and look in his cage and there's no Warlord. Um, so <laughs> yay to having my stress, stress levels be already high to more extremely high because now my freaking gecko is disappeared and now I'm sitting in the middle of my reptile room trying to listen in the dark to see if he's gonna be screwing around anywhere um so far no luck don't do it don't do it oh no what are you doing you're gonna fall cookie i'm also going to be trying to stay optimistic through all this um it's kind of stressful but I, we're gonna be, we're gonna keep looking, keep looking every day for him. He's gonna be in, probably in the weirdest spot, but um, the plan is every day we're gonna come home, me and Tyler, we're gonna look for the gecko, we'll, war, we'll look for a warlord, um, and then if we can't find them on the weekend, we are going to, um, on the weekend we're going to totally gut the whole <laughs> reptile room one thing by one one thing by one thing move it into our kitchen um and then hopefully we can find them then if we still can't find them i mean we can finally probably paint this room now because there's no furniture in it but <sighs> wish me luck 
what I did was I ended up putting out a whole bunch of his food dishes, um, different heights, different levels around my reptile room. So if he were to eat one of those or kind of dig into it, then we would kind of have an idea of where to look for him. So I also did put a towel on his, the door just in case if he was in this room, he wouldn't be able to crawl under and get into my kitchen. So, needless to say, we did find Warlord. He was not in my reptile room. He was actually in my laundry room. And we, he did get out of his cage for two days, which I'm very thankful for, because I know some people, you shared your stories with me, and you said your reptile or crusted gecko was gone for weeks. And so I'm just very grateful that I'm able to we were able to find Warlord, um, especially before the cat or the dog, since he was actually not in my reptile room. Um, we did leave out plants as well. So in the case that he, we always check the plants around the house too, just in case. Because I know the crested geckos, they do like to, um, they do like to kind of hide amongst in like dark places, under leaves. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm so very happy that we were able to find him. Um, but again, if you did lose your crusted gecko or a reptile, just leave some water dishes out and food for your reptile there. And then maybe you might be able to find your your reptile easier. Um, always check to see if um, there are in any hiding spaces um, or even, they, I, th I think some people even said that they've, um, found their crested gecko underneath clothing. So you always wanna be careful when you're around the house, um, just in case if your crested gecko did get into any of those tight little spots. Do not give up on trying to find your reptiles because I was so lucky that Warlord showed up within two days. Um, others weren't so lucky, I guess they had to wait a week or two um, before their reptile actually made an appearance. It was, um, I didn't find him myself, my boyfriend actually found him. He, we were kind of thinking that he would be on the upper corners of the walls, if anything, but instead he was literally on our carpet um, in our laundry room looking outside to our back door. So, and this was I think at three in the morning, Tyler finished gaming with his friends and he went to go do a little quick sweep to make sure to see if he can find him and he found him. And then literally this morning I came down and he was, just hanging out in his cage and it just made me so happy. So I just wanted to give you guys a big old update here that Warlord is safe, he is in his cage, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't lose a reptile like I did.